the new world starts wafting in from 2025. Not everyone's going to have access to it, though. It's the beginning of a new epoch for humanity. 2025 is the beginning of a whole new era, and we're on the brink of it. I'm going to explain to you in this video what the new era is about. It's such a remarkable difference to where we've been. So we're going to talk about that as well. So where have we been? What has been the defining characteristics of the last age that we were in? And what was the last age about? When is ascension going to happen though? Because a lot of people start with this desperation. They ask me this question, when is ascension going to happen? Because they're seeing ascension as a doorway out, a get out of jail free, a ticket out of the woundedness, a ticket out of the suffering. Someone else is going to fix it for me. A light from the sky is going to come and it's going to save me and I don't have to do the work. That's not what ascension has ever been. And if you're looking at ascension to be permission from somebody else that you can exhale, oh, I can breathe, everything's going to be okay, then you're not walking the ascension journey. Ascension is the cherry on the cake. Ascension is an amazing meal and it's a on top of the meal that you think it couldn't get any better, but then it does. It is something so beautiful that you already establish. And then ascension comes and says, ah, oh, here's the final gift. Ascension is not a ticket out of pain. And so many people are in such desperation for, when is it going to end? When is it going to end? When is my pain and suffering going to end? So bring ascension on because that seems to be the remedy. That is a total misunderstanding of what ascension is. The new era that we're walking is very much the journey of deepening personal ascension. 2025 is very different, or the beginning of the, the, the new era that is very different to the last 12 years. That was the last age. The last age that humanity just went through, 2012 to 2024, was all about the awakening. That's what characterized the last 12 years, which really could have been thousands of lifetimes crammed into one, because that's how quickly people awoke in 2012 to 2024. They brought themselves out of the false matrix into an awakening state which they built on and the universe kind of forced their hand in a sense that they faced the dark night of the soul again and again and again growth had to happen again and again and again it was very painful very very difficult because it was bringing the individual out of the dark ages out of that unawakened mindset that was the pre-2012 mindset. Now, yes, of course, some people did awaken way before 2012, myself included. But I'm talking here about the general epoch for humanity, right? So we learn things in that 2012 to 2024 era, and we're still learning them. Personal responsibility, healing. That healing is not the continual rehashing. It's not analysis. It is not going through things in the mind and understanding them there. It's getting real, getting authentic, getting gutsy. It's learning how to actually feel things outside of the mental processing. Because normally when I say to people, you've got to feel it, they believe that that's a mental exercise. So they experience mental anguish and mental pain, but we've had to learn to switch gears to get into energetic experiences and to know ourselves as energetic beings. That's the level of work that I teach in the Plasma Light Tribe. So if you're called to join and work at that level, kirik.com is where you go. Plasma Light Tribe, I meet with you guys once a week, and that's where we deepen that journey. The new epoch for humanity is about okay you've made choices but now what are the consequences to those choices people who are stuck in self-sabotage in victimhood in a refusal a stubborn refusal to grow and no that's not the people watching this video but i'm telling you about this because you will know people like this you will see what's going to happen to them in the new era they're going to become concretized, absolutely concretized in their frequency. So they're going to lose the malleability of frequency that we have right now. Right now, in any given day, whoo, look at all of that. You can experience the highest highs and the lowest lows. And when you're in the lowest lows, let's just say, for example, you're outraged, you're enraged, you're 
anxious, you're sad, you're, you're something and it feels like it's never going to end and it feels so deep and so dark and horrifying and then poof, the clouds part and you go, what the heck was that about? I am beyond fine. I am so at peace. I'm in homeostasis. Harmony is upon me. Enlightenment is happening. That incredible range that we've had over the last 12 years has been a gift given to us to facilitate the awakening journey. It's not always going to be like this though. From 2025, we're going to find ourselves either stuck in a frequency, concretized in a frequency, or imagine your light is like a jetpack and it's just, it's picking you up. Lighter and lighter or stuck in a dense place. The consequence is upon us from 2025. Look at the choices that you're making now, the choices made in the last era, and understand that the consequence to those choices plays out over the next couple of years. So it's approximately, what is that, 2025 to 2032-ish, it's maybe about a seven-year cycle, but time is never constant. We're always moving things as we grow and evolve. If we have exponential growth, instead of the period Ending in 2032, it could very well end in 2027. Who knows? I can tell you, though, that it starts in 2025. Ascension, as in the, the global ascension, mass ascension, that can still happen within that epoch that I'm talking about. That could very well be part of the epoch that I'm talking about. So it doesn't exclude ascension from happening. But what it does say is, your personal ascension journey for those walking in light becomes more and more possible, more and more probable. You're going to find yourself reaching and attaining heightened frequencies that you thought were only going to be accessible to you on the other side of ascension. You're going to find yourself understanding things because you're going to just naturally experience an upliftment because of the choices that you made. Not because somebody's given you a magic ticket, but because you made choices over the last 12 years to become more responsible for your own growth. No, you don't have to be perfect. You want to really bring in true, organic, powerful choice work with willingness. I'm willing to face my highest self. I'm willing to be bathed in the glow and the presence of my highest self. Do you see how that's different from I choose this? It kind of means when you say I choose this, there's a part of the human psyche that says, uh oh, now I've got to make this happen. Instead of now I've got to allow this to happen, but I'm giving my permission to it. Do you see how we're starting to work at a much higher level? 2025 is the beginning of an exponentially higher level, much higher than we've ever worked at before, that we thought that we could even work at. We're moving into our inner ascension world. That means you're going to get very unplugged from the old world and it's not just what we, you might say, oh, but I've experienced that. It's not what we've just been through. What we've just been through has been an unplugging from the old world and then a limbo. There, there was no new world to plug into. It wasn't yet established. But consequence means that's now established. The new world is now established. In other words, you now have something to plug into. That's why you're going to feel so much more stabilized into your light. You're going to lose the malleability of frequency in terms of the ups and the downs, less of the yo-yoing and more of the stability, more of the stabilizing into your specific frequency. And this means you can fly. In the old era and not just the one that we've been through, but all the preceding ones, which by the way, were, many of them took lifetimes. We're talking now about eras and epochs for humanity's growth happening in years, like 12 years or seven or even six or five or whatever it is. This is insanity. We used to take thousands of years to work through an age. We're doing it so quickly now. Eventually it becomes months, then days, then hours, then minutes. That's what it means when we say that 
time is speeding up. It doesn't mean that 60 seconds is going to become 10 seconds. It means that what we can fit into 60 seconds is 60 lifetimes worth of growth. That's why ascension becomes exponential. And here, the final phase of ascension, everything happens all at once. You're going to see that you can fly. And I don't mean literally, although let's not even cap it. Let's not, let's not say that that's impossible. You're going to breach the rules of what's possible. You're going to breach those rules from 2025. You're going to start to see what is actually possible. Now, when you start unplugging from the old world more and more seriously, it has less and less power over you because you have more and more power within you. That's why the old world had power over us. Because we didn't have power over ourselves or power within ourselves is a better way of saying that. So we're switching now. Consequence means that now as we've become more powerful, now we get to live that power. We've asked the question, how good can this get? For those of you in my Plasma Life Tribe, you know how important that question is. We keep asking ourselves, how good can this get? These are choices. You are orientating yourself to the highest. Every time you ask that question, you're learning to bring in higher potential, higher possibilities, more joy, more miracles, more love. And to embody all of that, the consequence to those choices is what you're walking into. And yes, you're going to see people concretized in their pain. Yes, you're going to see people stuck. Those people will still shift but they'll shift at the ascension point. They'll shift at the point of the solar flash. You don't wait for the solar flash. If from 2025, if you have already established higher frequency, you don't have to be in the highest frequency that you could possibly be in, just a higher frequency, a continual growth, a continual desire for that growth. That's the recipe. That's going to bring you into heightened awareness and it's going to allow you to understand that those who are concretized in their frequency and now they can't get out of it, no matter what they do, they're going to look like they're just in a limbo place. You'll understand it's okay. That's their choice. You'll understand that they're still growing in there. They're just growing in a very, very different way. What it's going to look like for them is that growth is going to happen outside of them. Life is going to be very frustrating for them. Everything is going to feel like it's happening around them, but not inside them, because that's actually what will be happening. They'll be growing on the outside of their energy field, not inside the body, which is the energetic field where true change occurs at the level of now. Their change is occurring for later so it's preparing them for the ascension point. Many of them will still ascend, but the journey between now and the ascension point is going to become a very stagnant, concretized place. As we move forward, we're going to find solutions. We're going to find flow. We're going to find flexibility. We're going to find ease. Nobody's going to be laughing at the guy stuck in concrete, right? Nobody's going to be laughing and going, oh, they deserve it. You're going to be holding such compassion and respect for their journey. At the moment of the micronova, which is the solar flash that marks the ascension point, that concrete is broken, essentially, that hard shell is broken. And then this huge wave of light, all of the growth that was happening that they couldn't access, then that sinks into the body. I tell you what, if you work at the level of embodiment, in other words, you learn to feel light inside your body. That's going to ensure your pliability and your flexibility. And in 2025, you're going to feel the jetpack beneath you, lifting you up, bringing you buoyancy, heightened levels of consciousness. And as you hit one, boom, there's another. And then you hit that one and you think, what? This is it. Boom, there's another. There's another. There's another. That's the exponential growth that occurs over the next cycle the next era for humanity before we had to die to get here we had to end a lifetime and begin a new one in order to start these new eras look at how many lives within life lives within life we're happening we're having right now there are so many rebirths taking place the one that we're walking into 
is the first time for the light workers, certainly, that they're going to be going, hey, it's getting easier. Do you feel that? We're going to have to remind each other, though. Okay, we've unplugged from the old. We're going to have to remind each other not to go and try to plug back into the familiarity of the old, but to plug into the now accessible new world. And I'm going to be talking to you about that new world. You guys, I've had experiences of the new world that I've shared with one other person. And when I shared it with her, I knew because I could feel it. It was groundbreaking for her. And just knowing the level of work that I'm bringing through and that it's available to humanity right now, that in and of itself is mind-blowing. So I'm going to be bringing you more information about the new world, but for now I want to prepare you that we're headed for the new epoch. You know what's going to happen? You're going to find as we close down this epoch, 2012 to 2024, you're going to feel like, oh, enough already. I want to move forward. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to feel like I just want to get into the new epoch now because you can smell it on the other side. You can feel it on the other side. You are being prepared for it. And everything in you is going to just want to access it. The truth is you already can. You already can access that higher frequency and bring it into the now. Get into the now. I'm running an amazing course called Infinity Starts Now. You'll find the details to that on my website, kerryk.com. There is heightened frequency that we now have access to that has been out of reach for humanity. Millions, millions of years. What we have access to now this is the beginning of the banquet. You're sitting down at the banqueting table now. At least you're there. You're bringing out your chair. You, you're getting ready to put your bum down in it. You've worked so hard. So hard to bring yourself here. You're going to have a big shifting of priority. You're going to have a big shift of awareness. You're going to have higher and higher epiphanies. Frequencies that you never thought possible. Colors that you never saw before. Fragrances that you couldn't have even contemplated. Do you see? All of that is part of the new world. The new world starts wafting in from 2025. Not everyone's going to have access to it, though. Those who are concretized into the old, they're not going to have access to it. So fine tune the art of gratitude, fine tune the art of humility. All of these things are going to stand you in amazing stead for walking forward into a much more stabilized, higher frequency part of the journey. From my heart all the way to yours, lots of love everyone. Have you watched this video? I'm going to put it for you over here. This is talking about the ascension wave as a practice round. You're going to learn a lot about ascension in this one. Lots of love. Bye bye for now.